A personal philosophy of teaching is essential since it guides educators to analyze their students' needs to address them using the most appropriate methods. Such a model outlines the best initiatives and practices that can deliver the intended goals. This paper adds to my philosophy by justifying my preferable teaching methods. The discussion also identifies the best theorist whose concepts support my framework. Teaching Methods Several teaching strategies are available that teachers can use to support and transform their students' experiences. My preferable approaches include the student-centered and high-tech methods. While being the source of authority, I focus on the student-centered initiative to coach and ensure that the individuals engage in both informal and formal educational processes. This model can allow me to form new groups, provide personalized assessment, and allow learners to participate in the process. I will measure the recorded goals continuously while providing the relevant instructions. Collaboration emerges whereby I remain the facilitator who promotes a cooperative educational experience. The second preferable teaching approach is that of high tech. The reason underlying this approach is the desire to use modern innovation to guide the learners throughout the process. I can use the internet and user resources to maximize their experiences. This model is appropriate since it resonates with the demands of the globalizing world. Most of the promoted theories of learning can support this process and ensure that more learners achieve their goals. Educational Theorists, Philosophies Several scholars and theorists have presented powerful models that are capable meeting the demands of more learners in an educational setting. John Dewey is my favorite expert whose philosophies revolve around the way students acquire new knowledge. The model allows educators to consider some of the best ways to offer personalized instructions, solve recorded challenges, and make the process student-centered. The theorist provides powerful insights for putting the demands of the beneficiary first while focusing on the best ways to maximize comprehension. Carl Rogers is another scholar whose notions are applicable in various classrooms. The principle of self-discovery resonates with the use of emerging technologies and devices, such as handheld devices and computers. As the educator, rely on such a concept to promote self-regulation measures in an effort to improve the learning process. The learner will be allowed to take control of process in a constructive manner. The individual will ask questions while the educator will outline some of the best ways to improve the experience. Using such a theory, I can personalize the instructions, acquire the relevant technological resources, and design the best environment to support the delivery of positive results. The outlined teaching methods are capable of delivering the intended content in the designed unit plan. The described philosophers present two models that can support both student-centered and high-tech approaches to learning. The theorists provide evidence-based guidelines and principles for engaging learners, allowing them to dictate the process, and introducing the most appropriate technologies that can meet their demand. The two professionals are my favorites since their models offer powerful insights that can support me to achieve my goals as a teacher. Conclusion the above discussion has identified two powerful teachings methods that can support the needs of the learners for the designed unit plan. The described theorists and their respective philosophical attributes will support the initiative. These aspects will guide me to develop a superior teaching philosophy that will make me a successful educator. Study Corgi can help you make your studies smarter. Visit studycorgi.com for more samples like this, study tips, and writing tools.